Anna Frosty, Traveling Jewels. Welcome to Colorado. It's no secret, Colorado is known for outdoor fun. And this week, I'm exploring Southern Colorado in search of sand, steam, and spaceships, and hot springs. Plus, we'll discover a few surprises along the way. Hey, Jigger. This is the mystic San Luis Valley of Colorado. Sand dunes, here I come. You probably know Colorado is famous for mountains, but did you know it's also famous for mountains of sand? They pop out of nowhere. These are North America's highest sand dunes. Oh, they look so magical. Okay, we made it. We're just about an hour from Alamosa. Quick photo op. Cheese. The dunes are in almost constant motion, changed by breezes, raindrops, melting snowflakes, and human footsteps. But before we go exploring, we need to get equipped. Right now I'm stopping in at the Oasis, and it is exactly that. It is kind of the only place around. The secret here at the Oasis is to order pie. Then grab one of these, and I'm gonna rent a sandboard. How you doing? So here's a sandboard. The trick to sliding down the sand is wax. You have a good time out there. We'll see you later, okay? Thank you. So excited. All right, let's hit the dunes. The elusive and seasonal Medno Creek <laughs> is the gateway to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. These sand dunes are really impressive. The dunes rise almost 750 feet above the valley floor. I feel so small. The snowboarder and me can't resist an opportunity to shred on the sand. Wish me luck! Oh my god, oh my god! Woo! <laughs> that was really fun. It's not only an adrenaline rush, it's also a source of peace and quiet. Pretty amazing what Mother Nature has left for us here in Colorado. It is just that time hopping on the Cumbres in Toltec Scenic Railroad. Got my ticket. Oh, and here's my car. We are just departing Antonito Station here in Colorado. This is going to be a fun day. I'll be taking in views from places where cars can't go, riding America's longest and highest narrow gauge railroad. OK, so we crossed the border 11 times from New Mexico to Colorado following along a route that was once a part of the Denver and Rio Grande Western Railway. So this is the open car. It's obviously the best view, but you inhale a little bit of smoke. I suppose a little cinder and soot just come with the territory. What I think is so unique about this railroad is that they built this in 1881, and when you see all the gorges and all the different terrain that they had to encounter, it's amazing they did that with the crude tools that they had back in those days. In the times before gas and electric engines, steam was the power player. This is a coal-powered steam engine. Right now I'm in the cab. Starts off, I gotta eat some beans in the morning, and then I put a little coal in here, and we get a good hot. So here's how it works. The coal boils the water, and then the water creates steam, which turns the pistons, and that creates motion. All in all, it's a 64-mile journey oh, watching the world go by at 12 miles an hour. It's been fun to see the scenery change. We're so close. Who knew locomotion could be such a thrill? Like any good road trip, half the fun is the places you discover along the way. And here near Hooper, Colorado, I'm forced to do a double take. So we were just driving by and we see this igloo coming out of nowhere. What is this place? This is the UFO Watchtower. People see UFOs here? Absolutely. We've had 179 documented sightings on this property since 2000. Wow. So this is the center of a vortex? Correct. This is what we call the healing garden. We have two major energy vortexes. These little aliens, the stack of rocks behind them, indicates the center. In this valley, it's known to be very sacred. I've been told there's a lot of activity, if you will. We believe it has to do with all the water that goes along the mountain range and the crystals that are in the mountains. The UFO Watchtower is totally out of this world. And just down the road, one of Colorado's most exotic experiences. This is Colorado's only alligator farm, and it's home to around 300 of them. 
What started out as a tilapia farm has grown into a rare rescue sanctuary for reptiles, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Hey, Digger! Hey, Digger! He's an African sulcata tortoise. Here you can learn about the animals, feed them, and earn a certificate of bravery learning how to handle them. And they're great at posing for pictures. Now that's the gator smile. Uh, my name's Jay. I I've always loved animals. I've always loved alligators. Like most kids, I've always been fascinated with dinosaurs. And alligators are dinosaurs. A lot of times, alligators fight. So we're constantly checking them for wounds. We're moving them from habitat to habitat. And the brave can lend a hand and give gator wrestling a go. So this is a female alligator. She just gave birth last night and she's very protective. By aggressively protecting her nest, she's picked a few fights. Now you see these scrapes right here on her mouth? We need to put a little bit of ointment on those. We got the antibiotics. So this is just to help her wounds heal. Before I know it, I'm in the driver's seat. Whoa, <laughs> this is amazing. I can feel her breathing. You can feel how strong she is. My face is like inches from her jaw. Whoa. Hopefully she's back to 100 in no time. It's really something. See you later, alligator. Now it's time to wind down in style, right here in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. After all the adventures I've had, I can't wait for this. Hot Springs, open year round. So the 23 pools and the range from about 96 degrees to 112. So you really have lots of options. What makes the water so soothing is the minerals. And there are more than I can count on two hands, each with their own superpowers. Ooh, that feels so good, it's so hot. Woo! <laughs> and it's chemical free, of course. The hot water comes from a natural spring located deep within the earth. It's the world's deepest geothermal hot spring, in fact. Pretty cool. The water is known for its restorative and healing qualities, and I'd say it's done its job. Woo, I feel so rested. That was just what I needed. There's more to explore here in Colorado. Come see for yourself.